Welcome back to Midday. We're joined now by Patrick Davey, who is the Kamloops Regional Prevention Manager with WorkSafe BC. Welcome. Hey, good afternoon. Good to see you. Wintry conditions out there, supposed to be getting another cold snap here in the next week. So what we want to talk about is how people can stay safe on the work site with these cold conditions. You know, a week and a half ago, uh, we had 21, minus 21 at the house. Today it's probably zero, but we're yes. just into winter. And when the temperature uh, goes below zero, outdoor workers and indoor workers uh, can be exposed to cold stress. And left, if not, uh, if left uncontrolled, mm -hmm. that can lead to serious and even fatal conditions. Things such as hypothermia, trench foot, uh, frostbite. In fact, in the last uh, six years, 2011 right through to uh, November 2016, there's been 72 workers in BC that have suffered uh, injuries, wow. one of them fatal from exposure to the cold. I think in BC, we often don't consider that as serious a threat as maybe uh, up, up north in Alberta, that kind of a thing, but it's a very clear reality for a lot of workers here in BC. So let's talk about what we can do about that. Um, what occupation is most at risk for you discussing know, those dangers? Well, you know, we, we, we talked about anybody exposed to cold uh, conditions, and that could be outdoor uh, workers and also indoor workers. For the outdoor workers, it's probably like you think. It's the service sector. It's the mm. uh, people in parking lots up on, the, up on um, Sun Peaks right now, the right. Uh, ski patrol, um, even the utility workers. Then it really goes to the primary resources, the oil and gas, the loggers, the... Uh, people in construction. For the indoor workers, it's the people that work in cold storage oh. and freezers. I think that's something we don't think about very no, often. No, it happens. Yeah, so. we think it must be people working outside. Yeah. Absolutely. So then let's talk prevention. How okay. do we, uh, what can workers do to prevent injuries and fatalities that are caused by cold stress? Uh, you know, number one is be, be aware of conditions. I mean, every morning, mm. uh, whether you're um, watching TV, listening to the radio, or on your, on your phone looking at information, look at uh, Environment BC. It's not only going to tell you what the weather's going to be like, cold weather, but what the wind chill factor is going to be. Oh. And that's, that's very important for us. Um, the other thing is to, is when we get conditions like that, is to minimize experience exposure of, of, of skin, uh -huh. you know, cover yes. it up, um, layer your clothing, you know, you'll have an, uh, a layer down below that'll actually wick out the perspiration, but a secondary layer that'll hold it in. Absolutely. Uh, we look at keep clothing dry, keep uh, bare hands away from metal, tongues too. Ah, tongues too. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, uh, cover the head because really you lose a lot of uh, heat from the head. Absolutely. Schedule, if you're going to be working in a cold environment, schedule um, times to be in warm and dry areas just to mm. kind of warm up. Yeah, to give your body a break from that kind of cold. Yeah. Yes, yeah. great. And as far as responsibilities, what, what is the employee's responsibility for that as far as safety in the cold is concerned? Well, well the, there's the employees and the employers. Right. And first of all, the employer's responsibilities are always the health and safety of their workers. So when you have workers that are working in cold environments, that's what they do. It's really looking at safe work uh, procedures and controls. Oh. Getting them in place, uh, making sure that the workers understand the signs and symptoms of cold stress. And there's, there's, there's from mild to severe. Mm -hmm. And the mild ones really are the shivering in your ear. Right. Uh, you get confused. <laughs> and you're, They're just, I'm very cold. <laughs> next you go to a violent shivering. Mm -hmm. Now you, you, you have trouble uh, maneuvering. Mm -hmm. um, and then really the severe goes to unconsciousness. So it's, it's recognizing that, but really having controls in place to remove people and right. have medical treatment if that happens. And having a plan in place, I imagine, is yeah. very important for that. Knowing what happens when uh, those symptoms are being experienced. And for, like you're saying, for the workers, really, it's, it's for them is to be trained so they know the signs and symptoms and to be wary of that, not only in themselves, but mm -hmm. also their co-workers. Right, yeah, keep an eye out for each other. Follow the safe work procedures of your employer. And if you don't know, uh, if you have questions, ask. Always yeah, ask. Absolutely. Great. Thanks so much. That's great information, critical information. Like we heard, so many people are in danger of... Uh, suffering these things from the cold, so being aware. Where else can people get more information? Well, yeah. as usual, on our website at WorkSafe BC, go in there and uh, type in cold stress. You're going to find out um, risk assessments for the cold. You're going to find out work procedures. You're going to find a lot of information that can, that can help not only uh, employers, but workers alike. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for coming on, for educating us and making sure everyone is aware. Feel free to visit that website to get more information. Thanks so much for coming in. All right. And we'll be back with more Midday in just a minute.